Okay, if you remember, Francine's on the roof and they just heard the screaming raccoon. And everybody's coming outside. Mrs. Watson, the Lincoln sisters, they're all outside now. Francine shivered. She trembled. The raccoon screamed again. What a rude noise, said Eugenia. It's just a raccoon, said Baby. He screams. Have you never heard him scream before, sister? No, said Eugenia. I've never heard him scream before. I am too busy to listen for screaming raccoons. Franny, screamed the raccoon. I think he's lonely, said Baby. For heaven's sakes, baby, said Eugenia, the raccoon is not lonely. Francine's heart skittered and skipped and thumped. She stayed crouched on the roof. That animal control woman is worthless, said Eugenia. She is doing absolutely nothing. I must say that she was very helpful when Mercy went missing, said Mrs. Watson. She looks like a fraud to me, said Eugenia. She is not a fraud, said Frank. She is a genuine article. The genuine article. Those were the words that Francine's father had used. That was exactly what Clement Polet had said. You are the genuine article, Franny. Franny, screamed the raccoon. Francine listened closely. What was the raccoon saying? Granny, he screamed. Why, he was saying absolutely nothing. The raccoon did not know her name. The raccoon was just screaming a scream. That was all. Francine looked down at her hands on the net. They were not shaking. She was not trembling. And why was that? It was because she was the genuine article. It was because she was as solid as a refrigerator. It was because she was Francine Polet. Francine stood up. I am animal control officer Francine Polet, she shouted. She shouted. I am the daughter of animal control officer Clement Polet and the granddaughter of animal control officer Nanette Polet. That's right, said Frank. And screamed the raccoon. I am the genuine article, shouted Francine. Yes, you are, said Frank. What a lot of nonsense this is, said Eugenia. Why don't you just do something? I'm going to capture the raccoon, shouted Francine. That is a really good idea, Miss Pollitt, said Frank, because the raccoon is standing right beside you. Francine looked down. Frank was exactly right. The raccoon was standing right beside her. She looked at him and he looked at her. He bared his teeth. Francine bared her teeth back. She was not afraid. She was not one bit afraid. Slowly, confidently, Francine raised the animal control net and lowered it over the raccoon. Just like that. Kid, said Francine. Yes, Miss Polette, said Frank. Get the cage ready, kid. I have captured the raccoon. I'm on it, Miss Polette. I wonder if anyone is hungry, said Mrs. Watson from down below. I wonder if I should make some toast. And up on the roof, Francine Polette started to hum. Oh, and there they all are eating toast again. There's a little part to it. Francine was reinstated by Mortis Topher. Mortis Topher said, this is a day of rec reclamation. This is a day when the shadows recede and the sun shines brightly. The true self is recalled and celebrated, and the trophies are returned to the animal control officer, both literally, literally and metaphorically. What I mean to say is, welcome back, Francine. Thank you, sir, said Francine. I am happy to be back. And who is this young and earnest fellow, said Mortis Topher. My name is Franklin Endicott, sir, said Frank. I am Miss Polette's understudy, if you don't mind. Mind, said Mortis Topher. How could I mind? Who would object to the passing on of such skill and knowledge? It is the beginning of an era. I applaud you. Me, said Frank. Both of you, said Mortis Topher. I applaud both of you. He adjusted his toupee. Happy, meaningful, and productive days are ahead, I'm sure. Francine and Frank rode together in the animal control truck. Sometimes in the purple light of early evening, Frank would say, remember when you were on that roof with the screaming raccoon and you forgot who you were, Miss Polette? Yes, said Francine. And then you remembered, said Frank. Yes, said Francine. It's good to know who you are, said Frank. I'm the genuine article, kid, said Francine. And so are you. Now let's concentrate. Let's keep our eyes open. My eyes are always open, Miss Polette, said Frank. That's true, said Francine. You're solid, you're certain, you hum, kid, you hum.